the grave. Where is your victory? What's to be had after death and dying? Thinking more of dying to our own conscious mind of our flesh that we have created independent from God of race, cultures, and creeds, and gender, opinions, and ideas. So great, where is your victory? What's to be learned from all this? O great, where is your victory? O death, what's your sting? The sting of death. Let me come back to that. He goes on to say that the sting of death is sin. Our acting independent of God, going with our own fallen carnal minds, that's the sting of death. It's sin, acting independent of God. There's no victory in that. So we bears your victory, O death bears our sting. The sting of death is our acting independent from God and losing what God has offered and discovering our true purpose, meaning who we are as sons of God and as sons and daughters of men. See how you got to keep on repeating this and repeating this and asking, seeking, knocking. So grave, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law. Any kind of law. Are you trying to keep it? For recognition, prestige in this world, or trying to gain favor from a second religious standpoint, from a religious standpoint, you're trying to gain favor. You discover God and you're trying to get back to Him. The more you try, the further you get away. Turn and far away from God. So stop and think the whole text again. O grave, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. There's no victory. There being independent from God. And you come in to discover that. That you live most of your life totally unaware that there's a God. That you have a human spirit. All you've ever known was your fallen carnal mind. Your rogue soul. Acting independent from God. Being born that way. The loins of Adam which constituted injustice. Suffering what he did and you had suffering that under the wrath of God. Cracking any pen from God. Injustice. But it's only to your spirit that you would discover justification. How by once for all, once for all, by an agreement between the Father and Son. Powered by the Holy Spirit, that the need would arise, the Son would come to receive and restore those begotten in Christ, which could be all humanity, Jew and Gentile. And not all will see this. Not all will get this victory. Under 
the curse of this sting of death. And with the law trying to reveal this fact. So your condition. The sting of death is sin. And the strength of the sin that exposes and reveals it in hope that you gain the victory through Christ Jesus for more than conquerors through Christ. He came into this world, the Son of God, to a bioless natural body like ours. Tempted as we were tempted, never yielded to his soul going rogue any better than the Father. He stood firm in his spirit. He never acted dependent on the Father. He never sinned. Accuse me of sin, he said. They couldn't. They didn't understand why they couldn't, but they couldn't. He could see it here from the Father through his spirit. He didn't yield to his carnal soul's mind. He could have, because he was tempted as we were. And he said it. I have many things to say and judge you from my carnal soul's mind. According to a particular race, culture, and sexual religious view of my gender. But I don't use that. I don't go to I wait to my spirit. And my father speaks to me. And the words that I speak are mine, they're his. And the works that I do are his works, empowered by his spirit, to my spirit and my yielded soul. Power.